we are joined by Dr. Jawad Kermani, who is the director of the Stroke and Cerebrovascular Program here. Describe what that means, doctor. Well, stroke is uh, of different kinds. There is a ischemic kind of a stroke, which means the blood vessels get blocked and there's no blood flow going to the brain. And then there is a hemorrhagic kind of a stroke where the blood vessels can actually leak out blood and accumulate in the brain. So these are the two kinds of strokes. Cerebrovascular means that anything to do with the brain and the vascular anatomy of the brain itself, or the spinal cord for that matter. So a stroke and a cerebrovascular program encompasses a very comprehensive approach to the stroke-related problems, whether they are the blood clot types, which block the blood vessels, or the blood leaking type, which actually leaks the blood through. Doctor, let me ask you this. We're in this incredible room where this expansion, if you will, the improvements around interventional radiology are happening. What does this really mean for a patient? Say, God forbid, a patient is experiencing a stroke. What does this equipment, what does this room mean? What do these improvements mean to that patient and his or her prognosis? Well, this is tremendous. JFK is actually one of the only center, like it's actually the only center in New Jersey that has two biplane neuroangiography suites. And, and so these, this type of equipment means what? Well, what that means is that you can now do procedures that used to be done in a very, very invasive ma manner, in a lot less invasive way, uh, minimally invasive through the endovascular route, as Dr. George explained, through a groin blood vessel. You can go virtually anywhere in the body and uh, repair different aspects of uh, stroke patients, tumor patients, uh, patients who have AVMs, patients who have- AVM is? Arteriovenous malformation. So some kind of a malformation in the brain that makes it more susceptible for the blood vessels to leak out and bleed, or even patients with aneurysms. So there are multiple possibilities of doing a less invasive um, um, surgery uh, using this equipment. So this is very unique. Is there a correlation, doctor, between what's going on here, and we're looking at more and more of these fascinating images that are coming up on the screen, what is the correlation between what's going on here in interventional radiology and time and stroke? Well, that's a very good question. The, the whole facets of strokes can only be treated in a multidisciplinary fashion. So what we have here is a state-of-the-art uh, equipment uh, designed to facilitate the process of cord stroke. A cord stroke is called when a patient comes in to the emergency room right outside this door um, and uh, a rapid and urgent CAT scan is obtained to see which type of stroke the patient's having. You have to know that. That's you critical. You have to know that. And now with our new expansion of the ER at the JFK Medical Center, we are actually going to have a CT scan built in right next to a dedicated stroke bay, which is a very new concept and is a very unique concept and also first in New Jersey to actually have dedicated stroke bays and right next to them would be the CAT scan actually physically in the emergency room. And this angiography suite has been built right next to the new ER's exit. So a patient could be brought in a very timely fashion, as you said, time is brain, in a very timely fashion into the biplane angiography suite for a rapid and urgent procedure that may be performed to help save that patient's life. Uh, final question, how proud are you at this particular time to be part of the JFK team with all of these um, very impressive improvements and expansions going on? I'm, I'm, I'm extremely proud of it. We are one of the few centers that have done groundbreaking work. We have uh, clinical trials that are going on that are answering very important questions. We have, um, uh, we have done um, unique uh, and um, innovative surgeries. Uh, and we are first in many ways. So that makes me very, very proud of being here. Thank you, doctor.